good morning everybody shiva in the last class i was talking to you regarding uh, this problem can be solved by using the is code method okay in the is code Alex and Y are given by these two equations, which are there on page number 90. So now here, alpha x and alpha y are called ready moment coefficients. Okay. So these ready moment coefficients are given in table number 27. So now we shall try to see how to calculate these alpha x and alpha y. Okay. So now I will show you the uh, ready moment uh, table. Open up page number ninety. Page number ninety is here. What's that now? Page number ninety. Here I will read one sentence here now. It is D two simply supported slabs. I will read. When the simply supported slabs do not have adequate provision to resist torsion at the corners and to prevent the corners from lifting. The maximum. Now come to page number ninety-one. Maximum. Maximum moments per unit width are given by the following equations. Equations are from here. You can see m x is equal to alpha x w l x square and m y is equal to alpha y w l x square. Is it right? Instead of w, I have written w u because we have to take the Ultimate load. Am I right, sir? Now, okay. So equations are down here. You need not remember it. Okay. Now we'll try to see how to calculate these alpha x and alpha y. Okay. See now, alpha x and alpha y are moment coefficients given in table number twenty-seven. See now, table number twenty-seven is now here. I will read now. Bending moment coefficients for slabs spanning in two directions. At right angles, simply supported on four edges. Okay. See now here, what he says is, here one of he has given L y by L x. L y by L x are these things, and alpha x value is here. Alpha y value is here now. Alpha x values are now here. Alpha y values are now here. Okay. So now for different L y by L x. Okay. He has given alpha x and alpha y. What is your L by L X value? One of is 1.24, but 1.24 is not there in your code. But this value lies in between 1.2 and 1.3. Am I right now? 1.2 and 1.3. So now we have to take the values from this table, alpha X values and alpha Y values, and then interpolate them. Okay, so you please see the code. I will I will come to the board now. See what? Now, if you see the code, see now our alpha y, our alpha y x value is now one point two four. Okay, it lies in the between one point two and one point three. Am I right now? So I have chosen the alpha y x is equal to one point two and alpha y x is equal to One point three. If you see the code, page number that table number twenty seven. For alpha y x is equal to one point two. Oba alpha y x value is point not eighty four. You just see the code once. Table number twenty seven. Did you see? Okay. Now similarly, alpha y value is point not five nine. Is it right? Okay. Similarly, for alpha y x is equal to one point three. Alpha y is so much. See the code. And alpha y value is so much. Am I right? Okay. So now these values have been taken from the given code. Now I want when the alpha y x value is one point two four, which lies in between. Okay. What is the value of alpha x and what is the value of alpha y? Baba, it can be calculated by interpolation. Just what we did in our Beams chapter check for shear. Do you remember it? Okay, check for shear. We have one for interpolation. So now I will try to calculate this corresponding alpha x by interpolation. Baba, interpolation can be now done like this. You can just check it afterwards, and you will get alpha x value as 
0.0876. Okay. Similarly, alpha y value. Okay. Again, by by interpolation, I can get the alpha y value like this. Uh, it is now 0.0966. Okay. So now alpha x value is not here. Alpha y value is not here. So now if I put alpha x value, alpha y value here, I will get an x and get m. So now an x. I will put all the values. Just check once. Okay. And your m x value is so much. Okay. And your m y value is now so much. Okay. So I have calculated m x and m y uh, from this IS code method now. Okay. So now once I know m x and m y, I think I can easily start calculating uh, your what we call uh, this uh, ASTX and ASTY. Am I right now? So that part we shall see it in the next class. Thank you very much.